In this video, I'll discuss non-differentiable functions. So here we have the graph of f of x is shown. At what values of x is the function not differentiable? And that implies that there are many values at which this function is differentiable, but there are some values where it is not differentiable. So let's just make a, a quick label here, not differentiable. And where is it not differentiable? And I'll point those out not differentiable at at where well the first one right here this is called a corner that's like just what you would think the, the going from left to right you're driving along and then you just turn a corner and and it's not differentiable because right at that point you've got the slope coming in from the left and the slope coming in from the right are not the same. So it's continuous, but it is not differentiable. And that is at x equals, it looks like, negative 2, 3, 4, negative 4. Not differentiable at x equals negative 4. This is, down here is just an arrow, and over to the right is just an arrow to show that the function goes on left and right. Moving onward to the right, we have another place where it is not differentiable. This is called a cusp. It looks very similar to a corner uh, visually. It is a cusp. But same idea. You've got the slope coming in from the left and the slope coming in from the right, and they are clearly not the same. So it is not differentiable at another point, and that is at x equals 2. Here you have a third point, 2, 3, 4. At x equals 4, it is not differentiable. And let's talk about why it is not differentiable at x equals 4. This is discontinuous right here. So we call it a discontinuity. And when you have a discontinuity, then um, it's not differentiable. The slopes might be the same coming in from the left and the right. Let's, let's say they were the same coming in from the left and the right. But still, if you have a discontinuity, um, it is not differentiable. So anywhere, anytime you have a discontinuity in a, in a graph or in a function, you know that it is not differentiable at that point. So at x equals 4, it is not continuous. This last one, uh, it looks okay, but here's the subtle thing here. We have a slope, infinite slope, right here, when x equals 5, 6, 7. When x equals 7, you have infinite slope, or we say it, the slope is undefined. Uh, and, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But the, first, these are the, the four areas where this function is not differentiable. Uh, slope undefined, I better write that down. Slope undefined, or in other words, the first derivative would be undefined at that point. So at x equals 7. So for example, if you had something like the f of x equals, this is not this function, but another example, if f of x equals x to the 1 third. If you had that, the graph would look more like this. Let's set this up real quickly. Uh, it would look more like this. All right, that's, that's the function that we're looking at, x to the 1 third. And then if I took the first derivative of that, I would get f prime of x equals 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds, or that is equal to 1 over 3 times the uh, cube root of x squared. Okay, kind of messy looking there, but the point is that if we plugged in 0 for x, which is right up there, well, it's undefined. The first derivative is undefined when you plug in 0. So uh, it, we say that this is not differentiable at x equals 0. So there's an algebraic uh, showing of, of what it means to have an infinite slope or the first derivative not being defined.